Hello. Well, another big, big box. Big enough for me to be buried in. This is an AEG Nimble in this huge, huge box. I got second hand. I thought, well, I wasn't going to unbox this today when it arrived, but it's so big, I really need to get rid of this box so I can uh, hide the evidence quickly. And um, it's easier to hide an upright vacuum cleaner in my closet than it is to hide this huge, huge box. So I'll unbox it today, slip it in my closet, and it'll come out of the closet when I do my full demo. But today, it's just the unboxing and first look at this AEG Nimble. It's used, so it's gonna have some wear marks on it. Hopefully it'll work. But without any further ado, let's open the box. How are you, anyway? It was rude of me not to ask before. Are you okay? Tuned in again to watch another video. Well, that's what I'm here for. Somebody actually called me the Unboxing King, which is not what I call myself. I do, I do unbox a lot of things, but uh, I'm sure there are many other YouTubers that unbox more than I do. But I expect I unbox more vacuum cleaners than most. I'm not going to uh, remove all this black pallet wrap. Just enough for me to access the top of the box. So I don't know much about the AEG Nimble. It was discontinued a while ago. And I've sort of got interested a bit in AEG since buying my AEG Ultra One Green. And I saw this on eBay and I got it, um, I got it for 30 something pounds. Seemed okay in the picture, but uh, oh dear, this is going to be a messy one. <laughs> it's going to be messy. <laughs> the polystyrene, you see. Polystyrene tends to make a mess. Oh, heck, it don't. Yes, I thought so. I could detect some scuffing. I don't know how many parts I can buy for this. I'd, li I'd like to. Um, make it look as new as possible, but it's that silver plastic that's sort of with a spray finish. And that no, no matter how much I polish it up, you can't disguise the fact that underneath the nice silver finish is a, a dull gray. Well, this is well packed. If this has been broken by Yodel, they'd have had to uh, drop it from a high building. It had fragile written all over it, so. Well, there's going to be a bit of mess for me to clean up, I think. All this stuff, look at this. It's like paper chain mail, isn't it? And in fact, I might say this, I could fashion myself a rather nice garment out of that, I suppose, couldn't I? Yes, if I, I could be a knight of the realm. Instead of an old queen. Now, yes, more of, more of this stuff. How do they make it, I wonder? Oh, it's making a lot of mess and I've just vacuumed myself, so... Obviously there's no handle. You just see the top of it. There's no handle, but the handle will be, I hope, in the box. This is making a right old mess. I wonder how I'm going to clean that up. Now is this the handle? And the hose. Oh dear. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Oh. <laughs> it's hardly very environmentally friendly. Well, this stuff is, I suppose, but not the polystyrene. <laughs> I'm going to have to clean the machine from all the uh, packaging. Deary me. Well, it's another another trip to the tip tomorrow or Saturday. I don't want to uh, try and get it out before it's time. Oh, deary me. Try and clear some space. 
Well, there's going to be certainly quite a few bits to uh, do an initial demo. Right, hang on. Right, here is... And, yes, that looks in pretty good condition, actually, the wand. Once I've given that a clean-up. I don't, don't think it's telescopic. This is the wand that forms the handle and it also forms, you know, your extension tube for your tools use. I'll pop that there. Oh yes, I can see at the side it's scuffed up. Um, never mind. I was expecting it to be. Oh. So it's purple and silver. I thought it might be. I should have worn really a purple top and purple socks. I do apologise, I'm not coordinating. I'm in brown today. It has been pointed out to me by a certain person. But uh, I suit brown, and yes, I do actually. I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten that I suit brown. I don't know, it could be my, my brown eyes, perhaps. Right, so it's not as heavy as I was sort of thinking it might be. It looks, looked heavy. Right, what I'm going to do, well, initially I'm fairly pleased with that. What I'm going to do is clear the decks for you, and uh, we'll have a bit of a closer look once I've... Um, polished it up a bit because it's absolutely covered in all the packaging material. Well here it is folks, the AEG Nimble and um, yes the listing said it was clean and it certainly seems clean but it is quite scuffed. Not sure whether I'll be able to buy or even fit some of the parts. The main culprit, ooh, it's stuck on my foot. Look at me, I'm, I'm going to have to vacuum my feet look. Absolutely filthy. I don't want to clean this up though because I want to show you the nimble in action. So there's a quite an, a nasty scuff there on the cleaning head and uh, just at the side, just out of camera shot. Here it is. It seems alright, 30 odd pounds. Um, there's no cleaning tools with it. I was expecting there to be. There should be a cleaning tool here and here. I've been on AEG's website and I can buy them. There should be a dusting tool and a two-in-one crevice and upholstery nozzle. Some variants of this I've seen do have a turbo nozzle. I'm not sure if we got a turbo nozzle in the UK. This is available, or was available, in the USA as well, but under the Electrolux brand. But uh, we have AEG in the UK. We don't have Electrolux anymore. So... Let's take you on a tour, starting at the bottom. I've not actually looked at the bottom of the machine myself yet. So uh, let's see what sort of condition it's in. Here's the underside of the cleaner. And uh, yes, it's in very, very clean condition. There's obviously some wear. We've got two wheels here, two wheels at the back. There's plenty of life left in that brush, which is a good job because the brush, I believe, costs 30 something pounds. And uh, We've got some long black hairs as well. They're not short and curly, which is, a, I suppose, a blessing, but uh, someone who owned this has long black hair. So, a bit squeaky, and it's actually, it's wooden, the brush roll. And it's got a partly metal base plate as well. We can take this off. I'll have a closer look at this. I assume it's belt-driven. I'm not sure if it's a toothed, belt. I think the belt must be in this side. But I can actually take this off using a screwdriver or coin. Uh, there's a rating plate there. Made in China of course. What is the rating? 1300 watt HEPA exhaust filter. Yep. So that's the underside. Pretty, pretty good so far. Quite a nice textured bumper around. Anti-odor, spelt the American way with no U, anti-odor sealed HEPA. So I tried to remove this grill but I don't want to force it. I'm not sure if that is removable. I have been watching some AG or Electrolux upright videos on YouTube and there is a model that has a removable HEPA filter. Um, which I believe is called the Precision Brush Roll Clean, available under Electrox and AEG brand, which I hope to get one of those if they go cheap. They're still available in the UK, but they're too expensive at the moment. 
So that seems to be sealed, so I'm not going to force anything. And we have at the back here, that's the release for the handle. It does have a swivel action. Turn it that way for you. So it, it, it swivels a bit more similar to the Miele S7 than a Dyson ball, but it's got this swivel. Um, doesn't go very flat. It does certainly not a flat to the floor design, not like a not like a Sebo X4. You won't get you won't get very far under furniture with that. As soon as we try and go low, the head just tips up. And there's too much gubbins on the back as well to prevent it from going flat. It's lighter than the Miele S7, but it's about as bulky. In fact, I've got, I've got my Milo S7 here. I might, uh, towards the end of the video, put them next to each other. So it is quite a big looking vacuum. So here's the bin. And there's a big button on the top that you press to release it. Oh, this is a bit scuffed. I think I can buy a new bin. But they are, again, they're quite expensive. There's some details on the back some hints and tips of how to keep it operating efficiently. That looks like the release just there. Bit of dirt still in and some more of that black hair. All in all it is very clean and I believe there's a way of getting into the top. Um, I don't really want to again, I don't want to force anything. Uh, remove dust cup by depressing lid on tab of... ah, oh, it should be... ah, oh, there we are. That's it. So that comes off. And there's another filter here. A sponge filter. That's pretty clean, so somebody's cleaned this up a bit. I can buy new ones of those, but I don't think I'll need to. They're about £15 though. I will clean this up a bit more. So that goes in the top. I've seen an online instruction book for this, so I'll, I'll probably download that. And... Here, this does come off because I've seen, yes, there we go. There's the, the shroud. Looks like it's probably just a dual, or maybe even a single cyclone, possibly. Certainly not a multi-cyclonic vacuum. Now, which way does it go back on? Does it matter? Let's have a look. It probably does. Ah, yes, there's a V. There's a little V shape. You see that V there? V for victory. And there's a little cutout. That's it. So that must go like that. And then the top. Oh, that's it. Yep, there we go. Is that on? Yep, there we go. So that's the bin. This sits in the unit like that. Clips in place. On the back at the top, I'll just recline the handle and we can have a look at the controls. On off, carpet, hard floor, so it's a, a twin motored vacuum. So when using it on hard floors, you can have the brush roll turned off. And it's got check filter and check brush roll. So although these don't look like lights, Apologies if you can't see what I'm doing at the moment. There's two circles here on this plastic. As you can see, one says check filter, and the other says check brush roll. So I'm assuming they must illuminate somehow and shine through the plastic. So and there's a closer look at the on-off button, carpet, and bare floor buttons. Just on the top here, I've got another button, which I assume releases the handle and the hose, and just press that, and it pops up, and then we can release the hose for above floor cleaning. Of course, when I do a full demo, I'll check to see how far this reaches up a standard flight of stairs. You can, of course, use the extension wand with the machine, as it is now. Ah, now is this something... not sure what that is. Ah, yes, it does. It extends even further. So you can, yes, that's quite good, isn't it? You can extend it 
by pressing that little doobie button so we can pull it in and out to give us extra reach so that's ideal if I'm, I'm just vacuuming and I want to whip my wand out and pull out the extension and then I can go around the edges so that's quite uh, handy will be better of course when I get the other two um, tools that should come with this vacuum there's the hose, not the hose, the uh, mains cord let's pop that back in it's an odd setup this, I was a bit surprised because instead of having just a hook top and bottom we do have a hook at the bottom, a fixed hook at the bottom but we've got two hooks either side a bit different that one's fixed as well and this one that's got a, a rubbered, rubbery textured panel that one actually moves so we can move that to release all the cable I'm going to show you the hose again so the hose comes out just at the back like that, it's clear I mean this has been, either it's had very little use or it has been well cleaned because the inside of that hose or it's been replaced that's pretty clean normally these clear hoses after use they do get pretty dirty unless now I suspect possibly I'm not sure about the mechanics of this but it is possible that when the hose the handle is in position the dirt doesn't actually go through the hose I have a feeling that could be the case that is the case because where the hose actually sits it's just a holder for it there's no there's no hole which to me says this is very similar to the Hoover the one uprights that when you were using them in upright mode the dirt didn't pass through the hose say for example on the Miele S7 all the dirt passes through the hose all the time even when you're using it in upright mode but it looks like on this one when you release the hose the suction is diverted to the hose end but when you've got it in upright mode there's, a, there's another air path inside, a shorter air path so I do like that sort of uh, feature the fact that the dirt isn't travelling through the hose all the time so it should make it possibly more efficient here's the handle, nice design, very similar to my AEG cylinder model and we've got suction control which I assume will only work actually on the uh, when it's on hose use you probably can't adjust the suction of the cleaner head and of course you can just take that off and we can attach the tools directly to the handle it's a bit flimsy you know but it's okay right so all in all it's it's scuffed but it is very clean now as long as it works as long as the headlight works and everything I think I'll be quite pleased with this so there is a lot of dirt at my feet so we'll give the AG Nimble a quick test well I've plugged it in and as you can see there's a little light illuminated I think that's pretty smart actually the way that it does have lights on it but you can't actually see them so if I was to turn the machine off at the socket the light's gone out but you can't see that there is, is a light there it's sort of hidden under the plastic so uh, it's, it's a small thing but I think that's quite uh, quite swish I don't know about you, there we go so I believe from another video I've seen I can turn the machine on by pressing bare floor or possibly pressing that as well, let's try it so yes I can turn it on by pressing bare floor or I can turn it on by pressing the mains on off button now if I press carpet I'm assuming it will turn on but possibly the brush roll won't rotate because it's in the upright position yes that's what I thought when I put it in the upright position the brush not the upright the working position the brush should actually start rotating and I have noticed that the LED lights do work not too noisy either so that's quite good I'll just uh, just give the suction a quick uh, go I've just taken the handle off but what I've made sure I've done now if I was to leave the handle pushed down 
I'm pretty sure now, if I turn it on, there'll be no suction through the hose. Let's see if I'm right. Yes. I don't know much, but I do know vacuums. So yes, this is what I was thinking. It has a, some sort of a, a diversion, a diverter inside. So if I was to release the handle, now there should be suction through the hose. There is suction, but it's not great. Uh, certainly not as good as the Miele S7, as you know, I've been using that today, so I can you know, definitely say the suction power isn't as good. I've always found though that bagless vacuums tend to have weaker suction than bagged machines. So, so far, pretty pleased. Okay, let's see how it copes with all the mess that the unboxing has left. Right, we'll just uh, give it a go. I can see no reason why it's not going to pick all this up. Right, I'll switch it onto carpet. Probably be a little bit noisier because of the brush roll motor. Yes, all in all, it's picked everything up and it's certainly a lot more nimble than it looks. It is very easy to push. The swivel action isn't great, but um, I did find it um, much, much easier to push than my Miele S7. Speaking of my Miele S7, here it is. I've, um, I've got it out recently and been having a, another play with it. It's a good machine, the S7, but it is a bit of a beast. To push so the nimble was certainly easier the quality though I would say the Miele is much more solid and better built but it is a lot lot heavier anyway I'm pretty pleased with this little eBay purchase the AEG nimble it's gonna cost me a bit of money to restore it the main thing I need to do is buy the two cleaning tools the dusting brush and the two-in-one tool and I'll have a look to see if I can get a motor hood if it's cheap enough if it's too expensive then I won't bother there may be a way of touching up the silver finish on this I'm not sure but it works it doesn't smell needs a bit of a clean but not much of a clean some of the vacuums I've bought secondhand have been absolutely filthy this one was dirtier the fact it was dirty because it came out of a lot of packaging which made it dirtier than it was when it went in but um, yeah I'm pretty pleased with it Pretty pleased with the AG Nimble. It's a shame I didn't get one when they were brand new in the shops. I expect they do. They went for quite a, a cheap price towards the end when they were discontinued. Um, I think someone I, someone I read picked one up for about £100. Not sure what they went for originally, but I think mine cost £33. Yes, I'm going to have to spend £25 or so, a bit less than that, I think, on the two tools, but still pleased with it. So there we go, that's the unboxing of the AEG, or Electrolux, depending where you're from, Nimble Upright Vacuum. Please stay tuned because of course I will be doing a full demonstration of this 
doing a proper test, not just the little bits of uh, muck that were on the carpet from the unboxing, but I'll be getting out my bag of filth and spreading that all out on the carpet, seeing how well it coats on hard floors as well. And of course, I'll be seeing how far the hose stretches up the stairs. So until my next video, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, please thumbs up, please comment, and don't forget, check out all the other videos on my channel. So until the next time, I'll see you very soon.